8 showing us just how much of River Drive is underwater tonight. Take a look at that. That's a road that's underwater there in the center of your screen. It's expected to crest at 21.6 feet sometime Monday morning. We will continue to follow that. So folks in eastern Iowa don't need any rain right now, but we are seeing some in central Iowa. That's right. A lot of people still do need the rain tonight. Yeah, and we could see a little more rain uh, into northeast Iowa once we get into the day on mm. Saturday. But for now, most of the activity is uh, confined to really south central portions of the state and southwest Iowa. So that's where we've been monitoring the showers and a few thunderstorms uh, for a good portion of your afternoon. Super Doppler 8 gives you the wider view there. Uh, light showers across north central portions of Iowa, Fort Dodge, maybe a few sprinkles there, uh, but the bulk of the action has been down into southwestern and again south central portions of the state. Creston really uh, getting in on the rains. Now rainfall totals upwards of an inch there within the just uh, within just the past two, three hours or so. So that's where we've had some heavy rain along Highway 169 as you head up into Adair County, uh, out into portions of uh, Greenfield as well, getting in on some of the rain. No lightning with this, but there is heavy rain on the eastern side of Greenfield there, western I should say. Winter set also looking at a few showers as well. None of this has made its way into the metro just quite yet, but you head over closer towards Knoxville and Pella, we've got a few light showers popping up there and that's about it. So we'll watch these as we head through the next several hours. Some rain again still possible in central Iowa here this evening. Darkening skies this afternoon, but we've held off on the rain so far. There's Creston's total 1.1. 1.7 inches of rainfall just from today and most of that coming this afternoon with those heavy rain showers and a few thunderstorms. So we've got the tarp down at Principal Park game tonight. Hopefully they can get that in temperatures in the low 60s right now. We've got a wind here in Des Moines out of the northwest sustained at about 18 miles per hour. So you can see where the cold front is. It's pushing into eastern portions of the state. We've got temperatures running 20 to 25 degrees cooler across northwest Iowa than the same time yesterday. So that's our uh, trend. I should say as we head into the upcoming weekend cooler and windier 12 hour forecast looks like this rain chances will wane as we head into the overnight hours tonight. A few showers left over through the next couple of hours will dry out by tomorrow morning and then as we go through Saturday, a few more showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two will pop up across northeast Iowa. We could see a sprinkle or two in central Iowa. A lot of us stay dry tomorrow, but there is that chance for a pop up shower or storm. Otherwise, Sunday looks drier, but colder and windier and cloudier as well to end out the weekend, unfortunately. So not much in the way of sunshine. We'll keep temperatures on Sunday in the low 50s with winds gusting potentially upwards of 35, maybe even 40 to 45 miles per hour heading into the day on Sunday. So Sunday doesn't look amazing to be outside, but it does look a little bit drier to end out the weekend. Tonight we'll be back to the low 40s, few shower chances early on. Otherwise, we're into the 60s tomorrow for most spots across the state. Eight day forecast looks like this low 60s tomorrow, low 50s on Sunday, and then our warm up is right around the corner by Wednesday of next week.